Hey everybody, it's Lacey. Welcome back to Paws and Paper. So I am getting into the fall mood and so I am starting to make some fall embellished pieces here. So today I thought I would come on here and show you what I've been working on. I'm making these envelope, bag, pockets, whatever you want to call them. Super simple. Very pretty. Um, I've made different ones out of this is just book page and they're all decorated up and this one's a uh, thicker uh, cardstock paper super cute this one here is just a children's book page got some pretty leaves and decorations on and you could either glue these down into a journal or you know just clip them in and this one here is just a uh, I printed on a full sheet of that, uh, just a, a, not graph paper, but ledger paper. So, and I thought that was super pretty. It didn't really even need embellishment. So I will show you how I've been making these. So I'm just going to start stockpiling my fall themed em um, embellishments here. So I'm going to start with, um, just, this is just a coffee dyed. A uh, copy weight piece of paper and I found that to do these and depending on what size you want to do them it's easier to have the landscape um, orientation rather than the portrait because if you're going to try to fold them you get really skinny so just depending on what you want to do I found that the landscape paper works the best so I'm just going to take this one here and let's just and I just I'm, I'm not measuring. I'm just kind of eyeballing. Um, I want to fold it so that I've been kind of just looking at the pictures on the front of what I want to kind of see. And you just need to have enough room so that your pieces will glue. So let's just fold. And let's just, like I said, I'm just eyeballing. I'm not measuring. And we're going to fold it there. So, so far I've just folded my paper over and I'm going to trim away some of this excess here um, by just tearing it, making sure that I have enough that I can still glue it down. So what I'm going to do is just tear some of this off here. And I still, you can see, I have plenty that I can still glue down. So I'm just going to fix this down here. Glue this flap. And these would be good ones that you could easily do like a mass making of and make a whole bunch of these and then save all the decorating till the last bit. So um, then you want to decide how tall you want it. If you want to trim some of the top, if you want to trim some of the bottom. Um, and I think I'm just going to take just a little bit off the bottom here. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to seal the bottom by taking my scrap that I had tore off previously. And I'm just going to fold this. Whatever scrap I have here, you don't need a ton. And what this is going to do is this is going to be our bottom. So let's fold this. And I'm just going to kind of trim my end off here because it's not printed all the way to the end. And then I'm just going to eyeball measure to my fold there. I'm going to cut it in line and I've been trying to work with this I found this cutter thing um, and it has uh, the pinking blade on it but I think it's meant for a magnetic uh, cutting board and I don't have a magnetic cutting board so I am just trying to work with it as it is. So I'm just kind of pushing it against the back of my desk to keep it still. And I've been trying to just run over this a couple times without trying to chop my fingers off. 
So, like I said, I'm not, yeah, that was a fail. So, let me see here. You have to like, there we go, now it's snapped down. Okay, if anybody has one of these, you need to tell me how to use this thing, because I tell you, I mean, it works, but I'm just not, I'm not very good at it, and I think I just don't have the magnetic board. So anyway, so I just cut my little strip here, so now you got the cute little design there, like, kind of like on the bottom of a paper bag almost. And so then I'm just going to glue this little strip in there, both sides. And this is what's going to seal the bottom of my little uh, pocket bag envelope thing here. Just like that. See? How cute is that? And you don't have to do any of the pinking or anything. It just kind of makes it kind of cute. And I'm going to use my ground espresso and do a little bit of distressing here. Just for the fall, I've been going, um, I've also got here, I got my dried marigold, which is actually really pretty. Turns out a nice orangish color. So I've been using these two together, the dried marigold and the ground espresso for my fall. Um, which I think are looking super pretty. And let's just dirty that up a little bit. Oops. Knock everything over. Okay, now I attempted to do the same thing at the top. So let's see if I can do this again. And I'm going to line it up here and see if I can just... There we go. That was better. Okay, so now we got a cute little top there. And let's just ink that up. And I was going to put a thumb hole in here. And you can see our bag or envelope or pocket, whatever you want to call them, is done. I mean, that took like a whole three minutes to make. I mean, very simple. So there you go. That is the basic structure of what we're doing. And then we can decorate those up. So let's make another one. And I'm going to use a different material for this one then. How about... How about I'm just going to grab, I have some kids' book pages here. This one looks kind of fallish. Let's see if we can make one out of this. So again, I mean, you can use whatever kind of papers you want. Um, I've used a variety to show you that you, you don't need to have um, a certain kind. Any kind of paper will work. So again, like this one... Like I said, I'm just going for the pictures on the front. So this one I'm folding pretty thin on this side. Um, maybe I want to do more because I want to see... What do I want to see more of? Do I want to kind of center? Maybe kind of try to center this. So let's try to go with just a little bit on this side. And this is where you get to kind of play around with it to see what's going to work. So how does that look there? Um, do I like that? Can I go a little bit more? Let's see if I can get a little bit more. I'm not real fond of just seeing the tiny bit of the tree. Let's see if I can get a little bit more of that. There we go. At least you can see the light in there. That's a little bit better. Okay. I think I'll go with that. So then this one... I'm going to just take off some of this bottom here. I don't know about anybody else if you're getting into the fall mood, but not really keen on what comes after fall, but just the colors of fall, I think, is what I like the most. Not the fact that it's getting close to winter, but just all the pretty colors. And I really like taking walks in the woods with the crunchy leaves. I mean, that's what I like about fall. Not the fact that it's getting close to getting snow on the ground. I don't think that's anybody's favorite part. Well, maybe somebody, maybe some of you I know like snow. Especially our, our husky. Our husky loves snow. Okay, so I'm going to try the same thing. I'm going to just do the Cut across the top, make a pretty top. 
Um, let's see, do I want to use, maybe I can use this piece here because it has that kind of pretty for my bottom and it's already half cut. Let's do that. So I'm going to just fold this piece. Like I said, you don't need very much, just a tiny little piece. Fold that up, cut it to size. See how easy these are? I mean, like super simple. You could make a whole bunch of these, um, have them ready to go, and then, whoops, and then just sit there and embellish them with whatever you like. Um, especially if you do just like a plain old book page, with just text on them, very neutral. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to... Ooh, do I still have time? I wonder. Ooh, this could be a disaster pants. Ah! Uh, okay, well it's got glue on it. Let's see if it'll work. Forgot to do the one side. Let's see if it goes through glue. Ooh, it does. Okay, good. Still saved it. Okay, let's get you back on there. See? Crisis averted. There we go. Alright. We just got glue everywhere. Okay, that's cute. Like that. Alright, oh, what else are we missing? We're missing our thumb hole up here. Such pretty colors of the sunset, and there you go. And let's just use the brown again. Got a little grunging up. Looks pretty. So see how fast these come together? I mean, like, super, super simple. Alright, and there we've already made two of them. All right, let's make one more and then maybe we'll decorate one up. So let's do one with just uh, this one here. Just This is a different size. So this is just a plain old textbook page. And remember how I said I like a um, uh, landscape? Well, this one's portrait, so we're just going to go with it. So I'm just going to, the text will just be up and down. So if you don't like that, you know, by all means, find other pages that don't do this. But I'm just going to show you that uh, it'll work with whatever you have and it turns out still looking really pretty because then you just decorate the text you know you just decorate it up and the text behind it doesn't even really it just kind of blends into the background so see i'm just folding plenty of room to cross over there and i'm just gonna i'm not gonna even cut this one off i'm just gonna glue this whole thing down here kind of guessing where my folds even coming. Maybe I'll just put a little bit there. All right. And we'll just glue that whole thing down. So now since I didn't cut any off of this, I'm just going to reach into my scrap bin here and pull out just a piece of uh, coffee dyed paper that I've trimmed off from something else um, from making another journal. So just grab a piece of scrap paper, whatever you got, so that you can make your little bottom piece. And say you don't have all these fancy little scissors or uh, neat little pinking shears or whatever. I'll show you this one. We'll just do this one. Just with good old straight scissors. Can look just as cute. And we can trim this up if it's not on there perfect. And this is a good thing about this. Like a lot of these things, you don't have to cut straight. You just have to be able to fold and glue and glue that on. So if you have some hanging over here, like right here I have a, that little edge kind of hanging over. Let's just give that a little trim. Just make sure I don't go into my my book page. There we go. Those are ends are sealed up. Very good. So see? Still looks cute and it's actually already kind of inked. Maybe I'll do the, I'll show you this one with the uh, dried marigold. This is just kind of a neat color. It's a little orangish, but really pretty with the browns and stuff. So check that out. Can you see that? It's it's a very pretty fall color if you like the fall colors, which I I really do. So I'm just gonna kind of lightly go over the whole thing, and I'm not an expert blender. I do not have that good blending technique. They're like, oh, I do this, and then you don't get the circles from your dauber whatever I can't do it 
Can't do it. You know what? Like, just here. Maybe I can smudge it out. Yeah, that works. Yeah. So, yeah. Not the expert blender here. Anyway. Enough of that. Um, and let's go ahead and do our thumb hole. Maybe I'll just leave the, I like the edges of this one here, which is the, uh, the, uh, frayed book pages the way it is. So there you go. And there you got one that's just a plain old book page. So maybe we'll use this one and we'll decorate it up. So I've got a bunch of, I've been fussy cutting a bunch of these cute little, and these aren't particularly my style because they're like more cartoony and they're a little bit um, not as distressed as I like. So what I decided to do was really just um, take them and really I've inked them a bunch just to grunge them up a whole bunch. So what do we want to put on? And some of these are just cute. I mean like that's just cute. The little birdie. Um, still kind of liking the sunflowers. Maybe sunflower. Okay, let's take these two and here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take my ground espresso and I'm going to really dirty them up and make them look a lot more vintage is you know it's just more of the colors that I like so that's a little bit more see it really toned them down and I like that a lot better so I'm thinking I've been using also got a bunch of these leaves um, just these fabric leaves type things and some of them are kind of pretty like these like burlap looking ones them are kind of neat and I just found these at the Dollar Tree which was kind of a cool find so maybe what do we want to do something like that and then I got a bunch of ribbon hmm maybe make a little bow Okay, let's just start gluing. I find I'm just better. I'm not good at like laying stuff out. If I just start gluing, I'm better at putting it together if I just start gluing. So some people are just really good at like seeing it ahead and can visualize and lay it all out. If I start doing that, I don't like it. But if I just start gluing it down, I'm fine with it then because I'm like, Turns out a little bit better, I guess, to my liking. So let's put this a little bit off center, maybe. Okay, glue that down. And these are just like um, these. I found these at the Dollar Tree too. Um, you might have seen these there. Uh, they're just like a cardstock piece. You have to spend a lot of time fussy cutting them all out, which I tell you, I don't mind. I actually, it's one of those things you. You just sit there, and some days I you just want to do something easy. Well, I actually don't mind just sitting there and cutting some days, and that's all I do is cut things out. So let's put a little Minister Hedgehog right there. Well, that's looking cute already. S simple, but cute. And then I had some of this ribbon here. I was thinking maybe I could try to... I'm not super great at the whole bow tying thing here. Let's see if I can get a bow tied. How do I tie a bow? I've seen them like, like we do this, we do two bunny ears. What is it? Bunny ears. Round. Pull. Somewhere. Don't pull the wrong thread. Otherwise you got a mess. Pull this one. Oop. Is anybody in laughing at me while I'm struggling yet? Okay, there we go. I think I got something here. So let's pull that down. I am not a good bow tire either. Okay, so let's cut this down. So what do we got? Maybe we can do a little bow there. Is that kind of cute? I think that's kind of cute. Is that too big? Put that right there. Um, What do I feel like? I feel like... 
feel like it needs just a little, maybe some of this. Maybe just a little something behind it. It's covering Mr. Hedgehog's. Should we put it up here? Maybe not at all. No, okay, just just go with it. Just stop fussing and just glue the sucker on. Okay, there we go. Let's just glue it on. So there we go. And just like that, you have a cute little pocket, envelope, um, paper bag, book page thingy, whatever you want to call them, all decorated up. So yeah, so I hope you guys found something fun to do here and give it a try and start making some cute little fall or if you're not into fall, you could just skip right over to Christmas and uh, hope you enjoy. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.